Okay, I'm really impressed that there's 10 minutes because this can be awesome. Uh, for me, I love to really get into the video. And this video is gonna be all about you right now. How we, you and I, can talk and figure out managing energies. Now you might be like, what do you mean? But the reason why I say managing energies is because, well, life is all about changing and life is all about ebbs and flows. Uh, you have the power to master managing everything about you, uh, the ins and outs of life. We have the, the star in reverse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there is something about creation that hasn't yet happened, but, but the idea is there. There's something about the creation that is started, but there's something about looking more so on, and this came like this, right? So it's like starting to turn instead of reverse into upright but you're learning how to really take time into the flow more than anything of this um whatever it is that you're creating so to create it you have to get also into the belief that what you are creating is happening. So it is reality. And the more that you work at actually like shifting your judgment when it comes to what you're creating, the more that you are going to start to believe it. And the more that you believe it, the more energy that you're going to get into the flow of it. So with your creation, right? Now with it being on reverse or in reverse, and looking at your belief system and how currently, where does it need to change or where do you need to reinsert the judgment of, is this belief actually benefiting me or is it causing me um, to have my creation be in reverse? Meaning it hasn't yet happened, meaning there is still so much more yet to come. The Nine of Pentacles. Sitting and resonating or resonating with what you have actually, um, what was it? What you have actually built for you is definitely, definitely a really strong attribute of um, realigning your beliefs because you're able to truly see that through the hardships and through the decisiveness and through the um, getting to the point of the star happening, you're going to understand that some of the beliefs that you had before, um, they were more so based off of others who weren't able to create what you are creating. And so their beliefs are filled with more of the lack and it's more so about getting to the point of finding the gain for you because everything in terms of what it is you are creating, it will turn out as perfect as it needs to be, right? So perfect being that it fills up your cups, right? Meaning that maybe to someone else, there might be a few mistakes, but to you, you have learned how to create and re-switch your beliefs in terms of what it is you're creating and finding that ultimate fulfillment um no matter what someone else says no matter what someone else believes you know that what you are creating is exactly what it is for you to create it's so important to release and learn to let go of uh, others' beliefs, others' opinions, those are the ones that are dragging you back down to where it is you were before when you first got the idea of creating. Um, you know, what really is coming to my mind is lifestyle. It is kind of like making your own life your own life and letting others watch for sure, you know, it, letting others watch you tend your garden, but 
literally still staying on your own path because you've learned that your own path is exactly, exactly what you want to have happen. The more you're able to let yourself go and flow, especially like the fool. Like, I mean, come on. Do you know how many people would be scared of stepping out into the unknown? But you as the fool have managed to get to that place. That is so exciting. That is the first card in the major arcana, major energy. So it's like this shift of getting back into more so the inner child you. More so the you before all these kind of restrictions happened. All these kind of disappointments happened. And it's ultimately up to you, right? So you're, you know, watching this video and you're like, oh, wow, this is awesome. But it's up to you to choose what you want to do. The Queen of Cups. What kind of emotion, what kind of feeling do you want to have at the end of the day, right? So you can go live your life and you can live it however you want, but you have the option to choose to live the life for you. Out of everyone in this awesome world, there's so many people, but there is only you. So it's your life and you choosing to live your life for you is really allowing yourself to get to a point, okay? Show a bunch of courage fell out, but allowing yourself to get to a point where if you come to some kind of stuck situation, where you are unsure how to get out of it, you're able to really rely on what you have built before you and learned how to grow and strengthen even the weaknesses that you thought you had into something that's so exciting. What is this? The Two of Swords. Into something that's so exciting that when it comes to like union, you're able to find the truths in things that maybe before you were like, oh, hell no, I'm not backing down. Maybe now you're like, okay, so maybe I should back down and save my energy for later battles. Because you realize that in the end, there will be a lot of things. Like in terms of you creating, there will be so many things that will come at you that are going to be tests for you to see how strong it is you're like capable of adapting and changing but also sticking to your morals and your beliefs overall you okay because at the end of the day this is for you you are awesome it's your world it's your life it's also mine but we're like entirely different people but we also have like similarities that we can help strengthen one another up with but we also have differences that can help expand each other into us becoming more versatile and more worldly and adaptable angel of balance y'all so really really look into finding how to balance and I know some of you are, so many of you are going to be like, balance on the outside, balance on the inside first. That is the challenge I'm like really receiving is can you learn to balance yourself on the inside to really help yourself? And when I say inside, I truly do mean your inner child. I truly do mean the past you that never got recognized never got honored, never got appreciated for how you were. The the you that really needs a big old hug, all right? So learning how to balance yourself so that you can, um, in the past, learn, and in the present, find the most power so that you can prepare for the future to make it smooth, baby. Smooth as butter, smooth as butter. Let's see if we can get any last cards we have two oh we have the forgiver i forgive myself and others with compassion for our human fragilities in the warrior i ask for what i want because i deserve to get what i want and these are the two cards this is a forgiver this is the warrior overall y'all i see awesomeness for you learn to come within and then all the outside shit will get, it will get, you know what I mean? Good luck, everyone. Also, drink some water. 
I gotta remind myself every day. Lord, oh my gosh. Bye.